Welcome back to the channel. You better get Bitcoin because your government sold you out a long time ago. The Democrat open borders plan to entrench single party rule, explained in under two minutes. One, flood the country with untold millions of illegals by land, sea, and air from all over the world, enough to eclipse the populations of 36 individual U.S. states so far. Two, prioritize the needs of these millions of non-citizens over the needs of the American citizen, with free flights, buses, hotels, meals, and phones, ensuring their loyalty to the political party that imported them. Three, keep them in the country at all costs, even when they commit violent crime like murder and rape. Attack the language used to describe the criminals, as opposed to the criminals themselves. Slander critics as racist. Four, ensure their privileges are made irrevocable with city and state sanctuary laws that act as population magnets. Codify permanent status and ensure non-cooperation with ICE. 5. Count the non-citizens in the census that will determine congressional apportionment in the House of Representatives. As of now, that would equal 13 extra congressional districts. A tremendous amount of electoral power. 6. Wage a massive, heavily funded lawfare campaign to change state voting laws that legalize mass mail-in ballots, no signature verification, and no proof of citizenship requirements, making it nearly impossible to prove voter fraud. 7. Lock in the permanent voting majority with campaign promises of lavish benefits and permanent privileges, enshrining generational fealty to the Democrat Party. 8. Win elections. 9. Entrenched single-party rule has been achieved. The best part? Your tax dollars are paying for it. World Economic Forum founder Klaus Schwab says you have to get used to transparency, no more privacy, isn't that lovely? In this new world, we have to accept a transparency, and I would say even a total transparency. Everything will be transparent. And we have to be able to behave like this. It becomes, how do I say, integrated in your personality, but if there's nothing to catch, we don't have to be afraid. I highly suggest you check out this next clip. This is what happens when people in power go unchecked. Well, we have every reason to be mad because um, the Clintons have destroyed Haiti for the decades. And, you know, they pretend to be our friends when in reality they are our number one enemies. You know, there are some other people who clearly behave like they don't like us. So it's easy for us to protect ourselves against them because we know they are our enemies. But the Clintons are even more dangerous because they pretend to be our friends when in reality they're destroying Haiti. And I, because and I heard that the Clinton Foundation and all these other organizations gave over $6 billion to uh, Haiti for the relief effort, especially during the kind of natural disasters that you guys have gone through. Is that true? No, it's more than true. The money is much more than $6 billion. You see, after the earthquake, countries around the world... Um, donate billions of dollars. The amount was much larger than $6 billion. And Bill Clinton was in charge of the money. And not only people around the world, but also American celebrities donate a lot of larger money to rebuild Haiti. And hundreds of homes were destroyed after the earthquake. And if you can believe, um, the people are still living under tents. That's unacceptable. And not only they, they held the money, they kept the money, but Haiti have enough resources for them to be um, very comfortable. Haiti have oil, more oil than Venezuela. Nobody's talking about Haiti have gold. We have one of the largest gold mines in the Caribbean. So, and they let the world, nobody's saying anything about our goals. Yeah. And who do you think is in charge of our goal right now? The contract. Yeah. Tony Rodham, Hillary Clinton's brother. Wow. He's got a 26 years contract. And then also Haiti used to produce, we used to produce our own rice. We didn't have to buy rice um, overseas. Bill Clinton destroyed our rice so his brother can sell the rice from Arkansas. Yeah, wow. So they're doing a lot of things. Right now, if there's um, a millionaire or a billionaire who wants to do business in Haiti, they cannot do anything unless they check with the Clintons. The Clintons are the ones who's running Haiti. Yeah, wow. And we are living in the 21st century. We are the first black people who liberate ourselves from, from the French rule. We fought three empires, the British, the Spanish, the French. So it's, it's unacceptable for us to be occupied right now. They dropping disease in Haiti. 
they they stealing our money, they stealing our resources. So we are out here, we are outraged for the crimes of the Clintons. Hillary Clinton have too much criminal records. She have no business running for president, especially for the news that came out in the email, find out that the, the, the DMC made all, all, all these tricks in order to, to favor Hillary Clinton. The question is, when it comes to Hillary Clinton's brother, how was he able to get that contract? How were the Clintons allowed to have such control of Haiti? It's a family affair. Bill Clinton, the United Nations, named him the chief guy who was in charge of rebuilding Haiti. And then while Hillary Clinton was the Secretary of State, so it's a family thing. Chelsea Clinton, all the Clinton Foundation, they're just stealing money. And most of the money, I can tell you right now, I know they, they, they have a lot of speech for money around the world and for Wall Street, but most of the money they have right now is from Haiti, from the Haitian. And, le and when they're letting the world know we are poor, let me, let me give you one simple example. If you are super rich, and then I would go and tell the whole world that you are poor, for years, for decades, and then everybody believes you're poor. And then I would come out and steal your money. And then you go and let everybody know I stole your money. They're going to think you're crazy. Because everybody knows the world knows Haiti is the poorest country. When we are not, we are rich. Haiti used to call the island, island of Pearl. Haiti is still rich. So there are Haitian lawyers, Haitian doctors everywhere. Who wants, there are millionaires who wants to go and spend their money in Haiti. But the United States government, not only are they stealing our resources, our money, they're creating, they create kidnapping. Now we are even afraid to go to Haiti. You cannot walk in the streets in Haiti. And then what the Clintons, they, they own the hotel, they, they go everywhere, they do whatever they want. This is unacceptable. I myself, I'm ready to die. I want the whole world to know who the Clintons are. This has to stop. This has have to stop. It's time for us to stand up. We cannot take this any longer. Amazing information. Where can people find out more about the resources of how the Clintons ultimately now control Haiti? Is there a website? Is there any other information that you want to share? Um, you can go to YouTube. You're going to see our videos. Um, you can put um, um, hey, um, you can put Haitian American Joseph Matthew. Yeah. And then you're going to see the first video would be me exposing the Clintons in front of the Trump Tower. We, we, we know, so we have a lot of videos. Because we saw the investigations into where a lot of the re relief funds for Haiti came into, and it ultimately went nowhere to the people but big multinational corporations, and a lot of the people who are still dealing with that natural disaster never got any relief because all the money that was funneled into them, even through the Red Cross, even through the Clinton Global Initiative, which the Clinton Global Initiative sometimes uses and brags, like, look, we helped out Haiti. We did this for Haiti. Not, not, what did they do for Haiti, and what's the current situation there? What have the Clinton, not only Haiti, what have the Clinton done with their foundation? They don't have anyone. They're just enriching themselves. Going, stealing people's money, resources, that's what they do. We're asking friends, the American friends, to stand up with us. This is unacceptable. We cannot allow this to happen. We are living in the 21st century. We cannot allow a liar, a crooked, a thief to be president. We cannot allow that to happen. If that happened, I would have no respect for America or United States anymore. Yeah. Because I used to believe America was the greatest country in the world, but there is no more justice anymore. Because the, 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 the American justice is crooked. Look how they're supporting Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. This is unacceptable. Yeah. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you so much for the passion. A lot of people in America do not know this. Is there any other information you want to leave us with when it comes to the Clintons, when it comes to the situation in Haiti right now? Well, um, other information I can tell you, you need to go and, and Google yourself to find out about our resources you know, what's really happening in Haiti. And right now, even though there's a lot of poverty in Haiti, but there's two, two, two sides in Haiti. There is a bourgeois who li who's living in Haiti. Haiti is not all poor. Haiti, there's a lot of Haitians, they don't even come here. They go to Europe. They go to Italy on vacation. They go to France. They, they, they're the one who's, who's, who's holding the wealth of Haiti, and then they're the one that the Clintons are supporting because as long as they let the, the peasant Haitian suffering, they are under the tents, and they're okay. As long as the bourgeois are okay, that's why they, they separate the money, the relief money. So all this corruption needs to be stopped. There's too much corruption in the government. Too much corruption. So, so all my life, I believe America is a 
country where you have justice, you have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, but I don't see it anymore. So, so, so we, are too, we have too much resources for us to be suffering right now. Yep. One, one last thing. You see, the Clintons, they don't like black people. They pretend to like us. Bill Clinton signed more laws to incarcerate, to put black people in jail. That's a fact. It's been in the news. All the Democrats are doing for the blacks. The blacks, some of them are waking up right now. All they do is vote for Democrats. The Democrats, all they're doing is more welfares, more jails, more food stamps. We need more than that. We need opportunities. There has, there's all of us, many of us are educated. We need more schools. And then a lot of black people are in jail right now because of Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the crime bills yeah, all the crime bills. NAFTA, everything. So, so we, we are not allowed to, to... Right now, we don't even have a president. If we choose a president, they don't want... The, the, the Clintons want to be the one who choose a president for us. That's unacceptable. We don't even have a president. We cannot have... A, 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 we don't have an election right now because of the Clintons. This needs to be stopped because they chose... The one we had before was Michel Matelli. He was a crackhead, a, home, a, 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 a guy who, who's putting down his pen, doing all corruption. He's the one that the Clinton support. And then on, on his administration, the Clinton was allowed to steal billions of dollars in Haiti. So this is why they do not want us to choose a president for our, of our own. We need to govern our own country. We need to be able to trade with other countries because we have gold, we have uranium, we have oil, we have marble, we have everything. So it's time for us, just leave us alone. Stop saying we are poor. We don't even need help from the United States. Yeah. We have enough resources to trade with China, with, 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 with other countries, because we are the first black republic Haitian who free ourselves from, 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 from slavery. We even fought for Americans' independence, but nobody wants to give us credit for what we have done. Yeah. So I, I'm personally, I'm sick and tired of it, and all the Haitians are sick and tired of it. So I thank you for, for, for hearing our cry because we need more American to support what uh, to support us to expose what the Clintons are doing to our country.